Hi guys, this is Victor from webautomation.io. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can extract data from target.com, uh, which is by far one of the biggest online retailers in the US. Um, and we're going to do this using webautomation.io, uh, predefined extractors, which are ready built extractors uh, that you can scrape some of the most popular websites in the world without having to write any code. Okay, to dive in, uh, what you need to do is sign into your web automation account. If you don't have one, you need to sign up for the free trial. Uh, once you have done that, uh, what you need to do is head over to the homepage um, and then click on the marketplace. And the marketplace is where all web automation's predefined extractors live. And we're going to search for targets. And there we go takes us to the landing page of Target, uh, where you can see some information about the Target Extractor, uh, and most importantly, some data. So you can have a look and see if the data is what you were expecting. Uh, if you're happy with the information over here, what you need to do is click the big Use for Free button. Takes you to an Activate on page, which um, you just have to confirm you want to go ahead and press Activate. Now, this is the most important part. Uh, this is where you have to put in a URL from Target. Uh, so we're going to head back to Target. Uh, so there are multiple ways which you can get a URL. You can get a category page, a product page, or a search page. Uh, so I'm just going to do a, a quick search um, on, on Target. And let's go. So. Okay, so I actually did, did the search already, so let's try it again. Uh, it's Bassinet's Crypt Sheets. And you can see we have multiple results, about 724. So I hope you guys can do any kind of search you wanted. Uh, as we want to get some quick data and a quick scrape of the video, uh, let's narrow down the search. Uh, so I'm just going to put some filters in here. Uh, Uh, and then just there were some random filters. Oh, we got 22 results. Okay, so uh, some quick data we can scrape. So all you need to do is copy exactly the URL. Please go back into Web Automation and paste that link in there. Make sure you press the update button and you get a confirmation that it's been updated successfully. One link. So of course you can add multiple links in here. So multiple search queries, multiple product pages, multiple category pages. So we're done here now. We need to play, click the big run now button. Ah, so it tells you uh, it started scraping. You get an email once it's completed. Um, and there we see, so it's running now. Um, it's only going to take a few minutes as it's only 22 results. Um, and then we'll come back and see what the data looks like. So we can see the status is completed now. Uh, so we can download our 22 rows. Uh, we have different options to download as a CSV, XML, Excel, JSON, or JSON line. I'm going to use Excel as I have that open already. Uh, so let's save that to my local and have a look at what the data looks like. Uh, so we can see uh, we have the data in a nice format on targets. Uh, we have the category information, the, the depth in terms of uh, what's displayed on the page, description, heights, um, some more information, images, uh, more information, prices, SKU number, uh, UPC number, URL, timestamp, uh, basically everything um, that's displayed on the target product page. Uh, so I've shown you guys quite quickly how you can extract data, product data uh, from targets using Web Automation's predefined extractor without having to write any code uh, in just a few minutes. Um, as a bonus, I'm going to show you how to add or scrape more data from targets. What you need to do is head back into Web Automation, head over to Extractors, 
go to your target um, row, edit it, head over to starter links, and you can change the URL from target, uh, update and run, and then you get some fresh data from target. Okay, uh, thank you guys a lot for watching the video. I've shown you quickly how you can easily scrape data from target.com using Web Automation's Predefined Extractor. Let me know if you have any comments or feedback and, and we'll definitely look into it for you. Uh, otherwise, I'll see you at the next video.